It's shameful to admit this, but it's the unfortunate truth that just by looking at me, you probably couldn't guess that I have been active in the gym for about a decade now. In fact, my college degree is in human science with a concentration in exercise physiology. But I'm on a 5 foot 6 frame and I keep myself lean so no one even knows that I'm ripped until I do like a flex and it ends up being a jump scare. I keep hyping myself up in the mirror and telling myself that today's the day I finally start wearing tighter clothing so people stop asking if I even go to the gym because it hurts my soul every time. Or maybe I just need to be shirtless more often so that way it's pretty obvious. But regardless, the reason I'm even mentioning this is because I've noticed over the last... Maybe six months, not even that long, but like the last six to eight months, the gym has gone from being a place of like working on yourself, gains, you know, focusing on improving your overall health to a place where people go to compete for viral TikTok videos of them being a victim. Usually the content revolves around them filming themselves working out and then catching somebody looking at them and being a creep and a weirdo staring at them. Staring's a word I'm using very loosely here. And then sometimes, God forbid, that person comes over and asks them a question in between their sets. Normal human interaction has become fucking outlawed in the, in the world of TikTok for some people. Now, I'm not saying this isn't a real thing. I'm not saying everyone that goes to the gym is an angel that can do no wrong. There definitely are creepy people that go there. I've certainly seen my fair share of weirdos in my days. In fact, one that always lives in my head rent-free is two years ago. A security guard at a private gym kept going over and sniffing a woman's ass as she was doing rows. I can't show the video, I don't think, because it might be against YouTube's new terms, but here's just a quick screenshot of his fourth ass sniffing attempt where he's, he's just like huffing her fumes. He eventually does get caught and fired for it. The, the point is, there are weird people at the gym, but what's going on right now is everyone is filming themselves at the gym, which I already think is kind of weird. This is like this fucking perpetual surveillance here with people making fucking TikToks everywhere. But while filming, they're not catching weird people doing weird things or harassing them. They're catching very normal gym goers doing normal things and then publicly shaming them and embarrassing them for doing nothing wrong. Now I'm going to show you the biggest one that I really think started really blowing this trend up and led to me finding out how large this has become and how big of a problem it's become. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. You can immediately see a problem here. She's making a stair counter every time the guy even glances in her general direction. What do you expect people to do at the gym? Just turn around and stare at a wall when they're done with their set like it's the fucking Blair Witch? Like, what, what are you expecting? The guy is in between his sets, so he's just looking around. He's not even staring at her. Now, if he was staring at her, then I could see being a little uncomfortable if he's just over there, like, you know, fucking staring a hole through with, like, goddamn, like, laser beams almost firing out. Like, I'd get that being weird. But this guy is just, like, glancing near her, and he's still getting just attacked for it by her. Somehow the stair counters at five. I guess she's counting every time he's in between blinks now. And then she starts getting fearful because he's walking near her and wondering, questioning, why would he be doing that? Kind of like it's a scene out of a horror movie, like the boogeyman's, you know, you, you, jingling keys trying to get in the door or something. But she immediately answers why he's walking over. It's because he's grabbing a sanitary wipe, showing good gym etiquette to go wipe down the machine he was just using. You don't have to do that, it's okay. No, no, it's okay, I got okay. it. Thank you, though. Unfortunately, this guy made a big blunder here. He committed a cardinal sin. He tried to be helpful. So he offered to try and, you know, help out here because it looked like she was struggling, which she even mentioned she was hesitant to put the weight on, so he probably interpreted that as like, oh, okay, maybe I could be helpful here. Just being a genuinely nice person, I believe, and she even responds positively to it and then turns around and says this kind of shit. What if I just ripped his PP pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? Totally normal, not alarming thing to say, 
This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take the weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21-year-old. What, where, where have we all gone wrong? What, what's happened to the world where that is a statement said earnestly? He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21-year-old. There's more to unpack there than a fucking two-week vacation suitcase. I, I could unpack this shit for hours. He wasn't staring. There's no such thing as an underage 21-year-old. 21 years old? What? You, you're not a kid <laughs> at all. You can legally butt-chug Budweiser now. Unless this is some kind of weird self-own kind of thing where she has the mentality of a child, thus this guy should go to jail for what she perceives as staring at her? I, I don't know. Like, I can't even, like, remotely figure out what she was even trying to say with that last statement. But anyway, I'm not going to keep going too deep on this one because everyone has already dunked on it. She's issued an apology about everything. But I want to give a quick shout out to Joey Swole. He's a very prominent figure in the community and he's been doing a lot of good work calling out these kind of videos. Now here's another stinky video here. So this guy gets called out because he walks across the track she's about to do lunges on and looks at her on the way by. Then she says that she catches him still staring. There's no way. I'm so uncomfortable right now. And then the caption even says, in quotes, it's because of your outfit. I don't know if she's accusing him of saying that, like he shouts it at her across the room. Excuse me, milady. I looked at you because of your outfit. You drew my eyes to you. It's your fault. Or if she's just saying that as like a way of calling out behavior. I'm, I'm really not sure. But Joey Swole, when he talked about this video, pointed out something that I think everyone who's ever been to the gym will recognize. That not only is the guy not staring again, the reason why he'd look at her while walking by is because he's going by her path on the track. So perhaps he was looking at her to make sure he wasn't getting in her way since she was about to start lunges. I feel like that's the most obvious explanation here. But regardless, he doesn't do anything creepy or weird. He looks at her while he's walking by and once he's through, he continues going forward. Like, I just, I don't understand where this is coming from. To me, it feels like this lady has recorded every single one of her gym sessions for the last week or so after noticing that this kind of content was blowing up, praying that someone would be weird and creepy to her, but she didn't get that. So she just decided to go with the one that's almost somewhat different where a guy looks at her when he walks by and chose that one for some clicks. Because nothing bad happens here. There's not a weirdo here. And according to Joey Swole, a lot of members of the gym, both men and women, said that this man is very kind and has actually loved the gym. He's a regular here. So it is pretty fucked up and shitty for her to make this video trying to shame him for doing nothing wrong. This guy. Still no progress here. What? Still no progress. Oh. I understand. Just. Oh, cool. so I'm going to go right here. This isn't a trend that only women are doing. Men are doing the same thing. This fucking douchebag is filming in the locker room, flexing to show his progress. The guy in the back that he's calling a schmuck is 100% right. You cannot be filming in the fucking locker room. Like, what do you think this is? Brazzers? Like, what the fuck are you even thinking? What's going through your smooth brain? Everyone just loves to think that they're the main character and everyone that interferes in their story and does more than just be a prop for their TikTok videos is the villain. When that's just not the reality. You are the bad guy here, not the guy you're calling out. If you want to take progress photos and videos, which I totally understand, just wait till you get home, or at the absolute least, wait until you're the only person in that locker room. Because right now you have two people behind you changing. They could have just gone whole hog, let their cock and balls flop out, and if you film them in a private setting without their consent, it, their nudity, you would be fucked legally. Watch this guy try move to me at the gym. Checks absolutely nothing on his phone. Looks over at me being busy sorting my wrist straps. These fucking straps taking up too much time. I don't know what constitutes a stare anymore. 
Like, this guy, again, just glances in her direction, briefly looks at his phone and puts it away, and apparently that's getting called out for being weird, saying he checks nothing on his phone. He could have just been checking the time. He could have been checking literally anything that's quick to get at a glance, like, what time is it? Or if he had a timer set up for, like, how much rest he has between sets, how much time do I have left on my rest? Like, there's so many things he could have been checking on his phone, but it doesn't matter. Like, he didn't do anything weird or wrong right now. All he did was walk by, and he looked over near you. Makes a swift return. Sad lip. And there it is. The second he decided to ask a question, his fate was sealed. He was getting shamed on TikTok for it. So, he comes over and asks if she's using the machine behind her. As Joey Swole also points out, and as anyone that ever goes to the gym will also point out, People like to check to make sure the machines are vacant. They don't want to step on any toes and take a machine that's already being occupied. So maybe her things were near the machine and he wanted to double check to make sure she wasn't using it in addition to doing the RDLs. Like, that, that is just being polite. That is normal gym etiquette. But let's assume this guy is new to the gym. She likes, she seems to think he is and is insulting him for it, making fun of him for not knowing the name of the machine. So, don't you think someone that's a little new to the gym would like to be super certain that he's not getting in anyone's way? So he would like to ask someone that's near the machine to make sure that he has full reign to use it without intruding on their workout. He did nothing wrong, but it didn't matter. He made a slight glance near her, a split second of his eyes looking around before checking his phone, and that, that small, insignificant thing, was enough to put a crosshair on him and for her to attack. I think she's the weirdo. You're the gym weirdo. Filming everyone around you, looking for people to call out. That shit is creepy. Not this guy who just innocently asks if you are using the machine behind you. Totally normal question, totally normal interaction, and this behavior is getting so fucking out of control. People are turning gyms into war zones where they're looking at every single micro angle of your eyes and counting it as a stare if you happen to catch them somewhere in your general vision vicinity. It's fucking despicable. So yeah, I wanted to talk about this a little bit, and uh, that's about it. See ya.